every team knows that if they're going to have a successful season, they're going to need to be strong up front. The big boys over at Cheshire High School have been just that. Led by seniors Will Bergen and Sean Cangiato and juniors Dan Bardreau, Chisholm Okoro, and Colin Crow. The Rams are off to a 3 and one start where they have averaged 171 rushing yards a game and have scored 10 touchdowns this season. You know, those guys worked really hard in the weight room right, right alongside him, and, and you're only as good as those guys go. I'm a firm believer in that. Those five guys have done a tremendous, tremendous job of, of sticking together, working together, working hard. They show up every day to practice and just work and work. One of the biggest players to benefit from the line's excellent play has been Ram running back Jake McAlinden. Uh, Sean Cangiano bullies guys around. Will Bergen beats him to attack. Uh, those are two big guys up front, and uh, we like running to their side a little bit. The senior has rushed for 475 yards and seven touchdowns so far this season. I just wanted to get faster and stronger, honestly. And uh, I knew if I just got this much better, then uh, the big boys up front and the wide receivers on the edge and the fullbacks in front of me would take care of it. This group of upperclassmen for the Rams have been playing together for some time now, and it is beginning to show on the field. Um, they've been together, they were together most of last year, you know, little mixing pieces, but more or less been together from, for a long time here, and, and uh, that continuity kind of shows right now. The continuity and bond that the group has built is not only on the field. Well, I mean, it, it, it eliminates mistakes, it helps everyone stay on the same page, you keep everyone intact, and as a strong bond, no one will fight with each other. It'll just, be, it'll just have better chemistry to, uh, around the whole team. I think the trust factor is the big part of it. We all trust each other so much, and we know we have each other's backs, and that really helps on the field. So in those big-time situations, we can come together and um, do everything right. The group hangs out when off from football, where they watch football and eat a lot of food. You know, wings, pizza, everything, everything in between. Everything, everything in between. Though it might surprise you who on the team oh, yeah, that's eats the defense. most. No, I eat the most. Will Bergen and Sean Cange think they need to eat more than I do, but I don't know. I think I carry the weight in the bill, but... Uh. After games, it's definitely me. The amount of McDonald's I consume. I don't know. J-Mac J -Mac does eat a lot. He <laughs> does eat a lot. But you know I'm giving the title to us, too. Come on. Of course. It's that fun attitude that has kept the Rams locker room more upbeat this season, much to the enjoyment of Coach Druss. They're, listen, there's no doubt, no doubt they're, they're, they're the jokesters, they're the fun guys and, um, you know, they put their hand in the dirt and they get dirty and they do all those things and they're the guys that sometimes as a head coach you got to reel in a little bit, but that's the way it's supposed to be, you know, they're, they're supposed to be the fun group, they're supposed to be the energy, because as they go, we go, um, and they, they fully embrace that, they know that, um, they're jokesters pretty much all the time, but that's what this is, it's supposed to be fun, you know, and if you're not having fun it becomes too much of a job and then you're not successful. So these guys have a lot of fun with it. They work extremely hard. They know when to joke and when to be serious. But um, it, it's just, it's a fun group. It's a fun group to be around and, and you learn something from them too. Sometimes you gotta lighten up as a coach too. And they definitely teach me that frequently.